Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new piercing FAQ video. So I get asked all the time about nipple piercings, like how painful are they? Do I have my nipple pierced? Do I ever wanna get my nipple pierced? And just like to answer questions all about nipple piercings. But quickly, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I do videos every single week regarding a whole variety of topics. But yeah, let's get on with the video. So for the most asked thing, do nipple piercings hurt? So, okay, I have never ever been scared about getting a piercing ever. Like I get a bit nervous, but I never actually get scared. Now nipple piercings is a one piercing that I really, really want, but I'm so scared to get because I know it hurts so much. Nipples have so many nerve endings in and they're really, really sensitive already that when you put like a needle through it, it is going to be like a pain that you've never had before. Now I'm pretty sure there will be some cases that people will obviously say, it didn't hurt for me, it didn't hurt. What are you going on about? You don't know what you're talking about, it didn't hurt at all. You're very lucky. Like for the majority of people, nipple piercings will hurt so much. And that's something you really have to bear in mind when you get it done, that it's not gonna be like a generic piercing. And that's one of the main reasons why I haven't had it done yet. Like I want it done so badly, but I'm so scared. Like literally so scared, like I, I can't. Are my nipples too small? This is actually a very interesting question because I actually have quite small nipples. If I was to have my nipple pierced, it would have to go through the bit round the nipple, not the actual nipple itself. Because I do have quite small nipples, there's not enough space for the needle to actually go through like the protruding part of the nipple like it just wouldn't go through that so it'll have to go around like the areola I think it's called is it called an areola on a guy as well I don't know so I think you can get them done regardless but you just have to know that if you do have small nipples like you will it might be a little bit more painful can I get it pierced with a hoop so I always advise against getting hoops when you first get piercings done and that's because they move around a lot more than a straight barbell it's really annoying and irritating for the piercing to be twisted and when you have like a hoop you knock it more like if you just tap it it twists the piercing but if you've got like a straight barbell, it wouldn't do that because you'll knock it and it might move the piercing, but it won't make it twist. And twisting is obviously one of the worst things you can do for a piercing because the inside's trying to heal and trying to put scar tissue around the actual bar. But if you twist it, you're ripping it open again. When it comes to what kind of jewelry should you have, I would always advise like maybe a straight barbell or a curved barbell. Me personally, I think I would rather get a curved barbell. So the ball, like, because I would always have spikes on the end of my piercings. So the piercing would sort of stick upwards instead of out to the side. I'd quite like my piercing to stick ever so slightly forward. If I was you, I would ask your piercer when you go to get it done because they're, they're obviously gonna know a lot more than I will because they're like trained in it. How long does it take to heal? So for the first few weeks after you do get it done, it will be very, very sensitive and you gotta make sure that you clean it twice a day with salt water or saline solution morning and night. Obviously when you're in the shower, you can like put some water on it and just sort of soap it up and just make sure that like you keep it clean. But try not to submerge it in water because like if you have baths, when you have like a bath, you can't, you're kind of soaking in your like dirty water uh, like in a while so like the bacteria could go inside the piercing and cause you an infection also you don't want to go swimming for the first few weeks because the chlorine in the water and all the bacteria from everyone's bodies and like if they piss in the water or just something like that will go into your piercing and can cause you like irritations and infections um it takes sort of like six six-ish months to heal really six plus months it depends on your body again some people will heal faster than others if it feels perfectly fine to you and it doesn't hurt when you move it and like it just looks clean and healthy then you can change it. Can you see it through clothes? So it all depends on the kind of like clothes you have and the kind of bar you have underneath it. Like for me personally, I wear really, really tight clothing. So yes, you will be able to see it through my clothes. And because of the kind of jewelry that I do like, you will definitely be able to spot it. So this is kind of what it looked like. I don't know if you can see it that well from here. I'm gonna come closer. Oh my God, it kind of shines in the light. Um, obviously the piercing would face out a little bit more. Obviously it's hard because I don't have a bar there. It won't obviously be in the same direction it completely will, but like it will kind of look like that. When I have this shirt on, because the pattern here is quite busy, you can't really see it there too much. So realistically, yeah, like it just depends on the kind of clothing you're wearing. A lot of celebrities do have them done now. Like I know recently, like last year, Kylie Jenner had like a photo come out and I showed her nipple piercing and the whole world went mental about it. Also, I would advise after getting it done, try not to wear too much tight clothing just because it can put pressure onto the piercing and you don't really want to put like push it and stuff. So you want to maybe wear some like maybe baggier clothing just for the first few weeks while the initial healing starts. Will it heighten sensitivity? This is quite a common thing when it comes to nipple piercings because your nipple is already so sensitive. When you get it pierced, I've heard from many people that yes, it does actually make it hypersensitive. Like just touching it can feel like really, really like intense. And actually on the other side, 
side. I've known someone who's had their nipple done and they've lost all sensation in their nipple, which I'm pretty sure that's like a bad side effect that like if it can happen. So you just have to bear in mind that it can make it hypersensitive and it can make it like desensitized. It honestly just depends on your own body and I can't say yes, it will do this. So nipple piercings can cause maybe like your nipple to protrude as well more than it normally does because the bar is under there. And when scar tissue forms, it can like make the nipple swell a bit. Now my friend Andy has actually had his piercing taken out because he lost it and couldn't get it back in. And he says now his right nipple is bigger than his left nipple because he had it in and like the scar tissue has obviously made it sort of like balloon up a little bit. So just know that it can alter the shape of your nipple. Can I still breastfeed and have a nipple piercing? I would always advise if you are pregnant and it's not just for nipple piercings, sort of like belly button piercings too. If you are pregnant, I would take them out and just get it redone after like, you know, after everything's happened because obviously your body will grow, like your belly button will stretch. So like you just, you know, you have to take your bar out or you have like a maternity bar you can put in. Same with the nipple piercings. Like obviously as your breast does like swell, you would normally have to like make the bar longer. I would advise just taking the piercing out and then just letting it heal and then get it redone after. The thing is when it comes to breastfeeding, like you, I feel stupid like I have to say this and I don't think, you know, I'm sure I don't really have to say this, but I'm sure some people probably try it. If you're gonna breastfeed, take the bar out, breastfeed your child and then put the bar in back afterwards. Do not put the metal inside the baby's mouth. And it sounds stupid to say this, but I'm pretty sure some people do try to do that. It's just difficult to get bars that are longer for the piercing and it could cause your piercing to reject and you don't want a rejected nipple piercing, trust me. Can I play with the piercing? Now, a lot of people can use nipple piercings for more sensual reasons. Like when it comes to sex, if it does heighten sensitivity, it can become quite a sexual place. As long as the piercing is healed, you can. And obviously you can play with it and like lick it and stuff like, and it can be really, really sensuous. I personally hate people touching my nipples. Like I hate it so much. Like, I don't know what it is. It makes me feel really weird and I don't like it. So like if I was to get a nipple piercing, I'd probably, I'd probably be like, do not touch me ever. Cause like, I just, it makes me feel like funny and I don't know why. So guys, I really hope this video has been helpful for you. If you are thinking about getting a nipple piercing, I will eventually get it done. It's gonna be really exciting when I do and I'll make sure that I do show it. Please hit the like button cause it does really help me out and share with all your friends and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I do videos every single week and there are some more videos here you can check out if you want to and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.